Time for subtraction. We've been learning so many different strategies. Today you're going to get to choose the strategy that feels right for you when you're solving your problems. So let's review them. Do you remember what this one is? Use a picture. This one was use counters. Use your fingers, my favorite. And then use your number line. Okay, so you can use any of those today when you're working on this paper. This is called making numbers. It says here, color in the wedges that make the number in the middle. So there's a whole bunch of subtraction around the outside. Your job will be to solve that. And if the number that's in the middle is the answer, then you're going to color in that little piece of the pie. If it's not the answer, then don't color it in, okay? And go on to the next one. So I want you to, there's a lot of work on this page. So pick two, pick two. And if you finish two and you're like, yes, I wanna keep going, keep going. If you do two and you're like, Phew, that was a lot of work, then stop, okay? You can be done. Okay, so let me get, I've got my crayon. You need a crayon or a marker or something like that. I don't remember if I told you or not that you need that yet. You need something to color with. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna work on, oh, let's do this one down here. Okay, so I'm gonna pick one of these to start with and I'm just gonna put my a dot by the one I'm working on so I can remember that's the one I'm working on. And your numbers might be different than mine and that's okay, I just didn't wanna, um, do your work for you. Well, you don't have the fun of doing it. So I'm gonna do this one first. Eight minus four. Okay, so eight minus four. I like my fingers. I'm gonna do my fingers. Let's see, I'm gonna do um, five and three for my fingers, okay? So it's eight minus four, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. Now I have to take away four. One, two, three, four. How many are left? One, two, three, four. So four are left. The answer is four. And you can put the answer right outside of the wedge if you want to. Like, I like to do that. So my answer was four. So I just wrote that over there real small. Eight minus four equals four. Does that match my number in the middle? It does, so I can color in the wedge. If I could, oh, there's my crayon, <laughs> it rolled away. So I'm gonna color in that wedge. And you can use the same color for all of them or you can switch up your color. I know a lot of you really love beautiful colors and you might wanna switch up your colors. Okay, now let's go on to this one right here. Two minus zero. Let's do gems for this one. Okay, so let's put up two, take go, let's say two, take away zero. Do I take any away? No, so how many are left? One, two. Okay, so I'm gonna put a two next to that one on my paper. Okay, so the answer for that one was two. Does that match my number in the middle? No, it doesn't, it does not. Okay, let's do seven minus seven. Let's, I'm gonna use my fingers again for that one. Or actually, let's use the number line. Start at seven, then we're gonna jump back seven, ready? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more, seven. So what happens if you get to here, the number right before one? What number is that? Less than one is, that's a zero. Yeah, I wanted to show you what happens if that, you find that when you get on your number line, right? So. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hops. So you might sometimes land on zero, just pretend that it's there, okay? So seven minus seven equals zero. So I'm gonna put a zero on my paper. Let's see, where is it? Um, right here. Does that match this number? 
No, it doesn't. And then you're going to just keep going all the way around your circle. Solving problems, writing the answer just right outside there. You're going to just go all the way around. And any one that matches, the answer matches, color that one in. Okay? So use whatever strategy you're comfortable with. Picture, counters, fingers, number line, whichever one you want to use. Feel free to do that one today. Okay. So go ahead and remember, pick two wheels to work on. And then if you still have energy and are loving this subtraction, do another or another. If you do those two, you're like, whew, whew, so much work. I feel done. Then you can go ahead and be done. Okay. All right. Go ahead and get to work on that.